with breakfast? Yeah. Your spirit? Or your body? <laughs> you might need to start dressing up like Bane if you're gonna say that line. <laughs> right, like over. <laughs> we need to give her a Batman line, not a Bane line. <laughs> Where is he? Where the... is he? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. Awesome. For a girl, that wasn't bad. Wait, 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 stop. Everybody be quiet. Do One more time. Where is he? <laughs> stop. 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 Awesome. We should use that as a sound bite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at 249, man. We're almost there. 250, Pterodactyl Landra and Mark's calves. <laughs> um, People are going to be like, what is wrong with that? Cactus is next. Mark's yeah. calves. <laughs> let's, 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 let's continue on. Uh, more Last of Us Where series. Me? <laughs> Naughty Dog still might return to The Last of Us. Naughty Dog's Arn, I think his name is Arne Mayer. Uh, said it would be a disservice to ourselves and to our fans. A what? A disservice. Oh, I thought you said a dish service. A dish service, that too. A disservice to ourselves and to our fans not to at least consider returning to the franchise. He added on to that saying, it really comes down to, is there something interesting in this universe we've created that we want to continue to explore? Mayor continued, is it something that we can get the entire team passionate about? Is it something we can get the creative directors excited about? And then we would continue it. Uh, Mayer also spoke of possibly remastering the original Uncharted trilogy for PS4, saying they will not roll it out. And finally, this is also really good news, he said that uh, Jack and Crash might make a return, no nothing is off the table. Right, and they've been saying that for weeks, especially about Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. You know, they, they've been saying it's never been off the table, it's just getting securing the... Uh... It happened, man. I'm sorry, Mark. Mark, well, we, we have to stay true to our word. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's 250, that means no, Mark's cast and Pterodactyl Andrew. Alrighty, let's do it like, to it. I don't like being objectified. Pterodactyl <laughs> <laughs> Andrew. Let's do it to it. Go, go, dude. <laughs> what the heck is on your foot? It's wrapped. I fucked up. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Oh, All right, uh, at 350, 350, 350, we'll do giraffe Kristen. Giraffe Kristen at 350. Okay. Yeah, and, <laughs> then, and that 400 dinosaur team. Yes, we always say that it never happens. Right. So well, that's that's where we go. Dinosaur team at 400. We don't even know what that team. means. We've never <laughs> had that happen. Serious. But... Um, that's the wrong person. Let's get back to uh, <laughs> the Taylor. level update. Um, yeah, uh, Crash has been in the news a little bit recently right, because lot. of the fan art contest and right. them saying we can't do Crash Bandicoot. But uh, for them to say that it's not off the table, maybe that means they have talked with Activision at least. Right, and that's actually been rumored around too that they've been trying to talk to Activision about securing this. You know, it would be so nice and, for them to at least um, be like. That's the thing is I just don't expect that to happen. Uh, Activision wants to do it the way they want to do it, and if if Jack, or not Jack, if Crash. Bandicoot were to return to Naughty Dog, it would have to be a, a buyout. I don't think it would right. just be like, we're going to do it for Yeah, we're going to let you. Here, yeah. you can borrow it. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. It, it sucks to be a because buyout. it was their IP. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I don't know. That's the way it goes. All right, sorry about that. Go ahead. All right, but speaking about Batman, I feel like Kristen should be the one reading this. I should. Um, No, I, I always write up her thing so that uh, so that she can read them and read off. Like, you know. I feel like you would understand the other one better. I'm just saying, because you're wearing the Batman. Uh, you'll be nice. You'll be nice. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight pre-order bonuses for GameStop have leaked. We already knew that there would be a Harley Quinn yep. uh, story pack with the pre-order, but now it's been revealed that there will also be a Red Hood story pack if you pre-order at GameStop. Have you seen the Red Hood uh, animated movie? Dude, That's I've been awesome. obsessed with that. I, I think I told you about that. Uh, I don't know if you told me about it, but I watched it with my brother back uh, around when it released, and I yeah, thought it was really good. And, oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. A great depiction of the Joker. Oh yeah, I watch that. it at least once or twice a year. Yeah, it's great It's movie. phenomenal. That and Batman Year One are uh, really Red Hood is a... Uh, a like he's not, that's not exclusive to like the animated movie or anything like that. He's a character that has been in. Yeah, well, he's, for you'll a little see, while. you'll see. It, I recommend anybody that enjoys Batman or the entire lore behind that. Yeah. I urge you to watch Under the Red Hood. It's probably still on Netflix. If not, go out of your way try to find it. It's a phenomenal story for yes, Batman. Definitely. Really, really influential. It kind of shapes the series for the future. Yeah. And it'll, um, yeah. It'll be. So anyway. Getting back to it, rumors are currently suggesting that it's going to be an end of February release, which is going to be coincide very well with the right around games. so many other games. Right. Everybody seems to be doing it. February seems to be the big area right now. Yeah. Well, I think um, we said last week we got The Witcher, we got mm -hmm. Order, we've got uh, we got Arkham Knight, uh, and there might have been one more too. I can't remember what it was, but there was another rumored game around that time. Um, that oh, Metal Gear Solid Five is rumored yes. for Mar for March. Yeah, so that's that that's week. four great looking games in a span of like thirty days. Right. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be October all over again. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, sorry, you have one more comment on and here. And then, uh, so, that being said, for anybody that's a fan of Batman, Comic-Con, I mean, come on now. That was, the nerdgasms. Oh everywhere. my god, so many feels. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was just, I, did you watch the video that leaked of, like, the audience reacting yeah, to it? Yeah, yeah. That to me is so know. awesome. What we're talking about, guys, I watched the, three uh, different versions of it. Is the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice teaser trailer that leaked online. Uh, just search for it. You can probably find it somewhere. It's very, like, off-camera, like, kind of far back. Uh, thank you. Nola Saints for your friend request, but it's it's it'll hype you up like crazy just because of how the audience reacts to the introduction of Superman. But if you the know Batman the movie. Batman more and you yeah. see this image, like what they show you, yeah. the trailer alone, you know what's coming. It looks yeah, so it's good. more confirmation of exactly what's gonna happen in the story. And I'm really I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised they're going this route already. Very Dark Knight Returns. Right, well that's yes. I didn't want to give I mean I want people to see it. But. Yeah. But that being said, yes, it's very dark. I returns, and I'm really surprised they're going that route already. Yeah. You know, I figured, I, I thought that that would be something they would do for movie three. Yeah. You know, but I, I'm, I'm going to see what they do with it, where they go. It's funny because of the whole Batman versus Superman thing, Kristen was kind of confused by it. It's like, I don't understand what's the point of that. And I showed oh, her, I showed her a clip from The Dark Knight Returns. She never animated. watched um, Batman, uh, The Dark Knight Returns? No, I showed her a clip of it and of the scene where Batman, uh, play Superman, and she's like, turn this off, I don't want to watch this, I, I hate this, and she's like, they shouldn't be fighting each other, so here's here's watch, watch the entire thing, make her watch the entire thing. It is a really great I, I, movie, but she doesn't, she doesn't really like good. the idea of two heroes that, like, she's, like, but, you know, known for so long Well, that's what I other. said, watch the entire movie, because if you watch the entire thing, you get the idea of why it's happening. Yeah. So. When does this show air? Uh, Sunday, right at now. PM Eastern Time. Every it's Sunday. Right now! We're on episode 33, we've been doing this for at least 33 weeks. Wow. So uh, we're on uh, almost every weekend. There, there might be a couple here and there where we have to skip uh, Labor Day or Memorial Day weekend. What Labor, Day. Day. Labor Day weekend, we might have to skip that week just mm, because Memorial Day you're planning far ahead. Of yes, <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> but uh, sorry, uh, Kristen, you're up. With Big your news: next story. Batman fondles dog. Da da da. I might. Okay, maybe hard to read this. <laughs> Thank you, Minov Minovation. Okay, here it goes. Uncharted film slotted for. For June of 2016, I thought there was a Last of Us one. That is there. We'll get that stuff? later. Yeah. <laughs> there are all these movies, man. Yeah. Movie man. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it has gone through many scripts and directors, Sony has still decided to place Uncharted in their film schedule for 2016 as of June 10th. The movie once had director David O. Russell attached of American Hustle fame with Mark Wallace Drake. <laughs> with Mark Wall is great. Wahlberg, I can't read with this thing on. <laughs> I can't say with this thing on. Mark Wahlberg as Drake and De Robert De Niro as Sully. I would have hated that. When that yeah. fell through, direction went over to Limitless director Neil Berger with Bradley Cooper rumored for Drake. He'd be good. Now the film is set to be directed by Seth Gordon, who worked on Horrible Bosses. No actor is currently attached for Nathan Drake. Rumors are that Sony still wants to grab Wahlberg for the role. Nathan Fillion! He's too old. Let's be honest. If they were doing Uncharted 4, a thief's, a thief's end, <laughs> right, right. then yeah, I would say Nathan Fillion would probably be perfect. But uh, I would have been fine with Bradley Cooper. I think Bradley oh, yeah, Cooper Bradley would have been pulled really well. Very well. I think Bradley Cooper fits it much more than Wahlberg does. What, well, Ryan Reynolds? Uh, I, I would enjoy Bradley Cooper more than I would. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Brian Reynolds in enough of those very roles. Nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, <I'm> sure. <laughs> after uh, Green Lantern, I have to go with Bradley Cooper, especially with him being Rocket Raccoon and the the hype surrounding oh, yeah, that yes. role. Uh, thank you, Undead Slayer, for your friend request. I I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm not so like super excited with I guess what he's okay. with Bradley Cooper's work for Rocket Raccoon. Oh, I, I, okay, I, I haven't noticed anything like outstanding I or different still... about it. It's like, so, oh, this is Bradley Cooper. When I saw Bradley Cooper was attached to it, I didn't like it. I'll be honest with you. Let's just go off real quick. Okay. I didn't like the idea behind it. And then, as I was thinking about it, I was like, well, he has the style, and he could alter his voice a little bit, or they could alter his voice, and it could be really entertaining. Because when I think of Rocket Raccoon, I think of more of like a scratchy, like, you know, maybe like a little yeah. picture. Yeah, he's a raccoon. Right. <laughs> raccoon. Raccoon. He's a raccoon. But no, it's just Bradley Cooper talking. Yeah, it pretty much just says Bradley Cooper. Yeah. And I don't like that. And I guess that being said, his the early reviews oh, are they're stellar. Nine. They're over nine. Yes, they're do it's doing I very very well. Root. Well, that's all he says. I don't yeah, know. That. That's, that's all he says. That's all he ever says. He's like, yeah. For those that don't know anything, he's like Hodor. All he does is say, "I am Groot," and that's the range of what he can. Speak.